Here we have the Cara water leak sensor. They cost about 15 to 20 US dollars each. I usually buy a couple to reduce the costs. Now I like these sensors, they're really small, robust looking, look like they're well built and they, they fit in the palm of your hand. On the back is where the replacement battery goes when you need to replace it. You just take the lid off with a coin. The batteries are supposed to last two years. It takes a CR2032 battery. The whole unit is rated waterproof IP67, so there's an O-ring around the battery lid. There's two screws on the bottom of the actual probes for the water sensor. So when water touches both these screws, uh, electricity is conducted through the water and it sets off the sensor. You can actually have an alternative way of mounting this. You can mount the, the sensor higher up and take the screws out and put in wires and then run the wires down to where the, the water is, is expected to be. The screws come out with a, a two millimeter hex tool then with the screws out, you just put a wire underneath. You probably have a lug at the end of the wire and then put the screws back in. Now the unit slides around quite easily. I usually use a bit of Velcro, sticky back Velcro to fix it in place. Now the sense actually has a button underneath the water drop. And you need to press this button to, to set it into pairing mode. And you need to press the button for at least five to 10 seconds. A little blue light where my finger's pointing, which will flash rapidly blue when it enters pairing mode. And when it flashes rapidly, you take your finger off, and then you can pair it with the uh, Home Assistant. If you found this video helpful and informative, I would appreciate if you would hit the like and subscribe buttons below. Your support means a lot and helps me create more valuable videos like this. Until next time, hasta luego.